Saudi Arabia's Mohammed bin Salman is in Qatar for his first trip as crown prince. And migrant workers from one of Qatar's only multi-party social dialogue platforms has entered its second term. Meanwhile, football fanatic newlyweds have said I do at the FIFA Arab Cup. And finally, watch on to get up to speed on all the latest match results. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Saudi Arabia's crown prince and de facto ruler Mohammed bin Salman has kicked off a golf tour landing in Qatar earlier today. This marks the first such time MBS is in Doha since becoming crown prince of the neighboring kingdom. It's also the highest level Saudi official visit to Qatar since the 2017 crisis. The prince is also set to visit the UAE, Bahrain and Kuwait after starting his tour on Monday in Oman. His visit to Qatar coincides with a flurry of other diplomatic meetings in the country with Turkish President Erdogan also visiting Qatar. Now one of the only workers multi multi-party social dialogue platforms in Qatar has kicked off its second term with an extensive training program for migrant workers. Qatar Foundation's Tashawar Committee is a 30-member joint group of 15 elected work representatives and 15 employee representatives that aim to protect workers and educate them on their rights as employees. This is part of ongoing efforts by the Gulf state to revamp and improve the plight of millions of workers across the country. There's plenty of reasons to celebrate in Qatar. Newlyweds took their wedding celebrations to a whole new level last night, celebrating their vows with thousands of fans at FIFA Arab Cup stadiums. An Egyptian couple and a Jordanian couple were filmed dancing and celebrating at Al Janoub and 974 stadiums yesterday. Speaking to Al Qas, the Egyptian bride said she had always dreamed of visiting Qatar and said her now husband had promised to celebrate their wedding in style. And on that note, the group stage has officially come to an end. Four teams qualified to the knockout rounds, whilst four were sent home early. In Group C, Jordan hammered Palestine 5-1, with Morocco narrowly beating Saudi Arabia 1-0. Following that, the late night fixtures ended with Lebanon and Ending their Arab Cup campaign with a 1-0 win against Sudan, whilst Algeria and Egypt ended their match 1-1 after a pulsating game. In the quarterfinals, hosts Qatar will face the United Arab Emirates on Friday evening. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.